Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Stephen and Joe Show. Here's the titles. You know, I, I have to say that every week, just in case you get the title thing wrong again. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to the Stephen and Joe Show. My name's Stephen. His name's Joe. Say hello, Joe. Is it? Is that my name? Is it? It's. It is. That is your name. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's. Fine. It's. I can tell because it's written above your head. Oh, that helps. Yes. Well, you'd think it would help, but apparently <laughs> it doesn't. Um, I, I do cause... like the fact that you have to tell me when the titles are happening because <laughs> I have no idea it's happening. <laughs> One day, one day computers will be powerful enough and the internet will be fast enough that you'll be able to see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. But until until that fateful day, we have to rely on me telling you what's happening. Well, if we if we do this as a live stream at some point, sure, I, I'll be able no, to have that No, you'll still be up. like 15 seconds behind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, but, yeah. It'll be a big... But it'll come in Live after, streams will be fun. We should do that. And, and after the opening sequence, it'll come in and there'll be a 15-second pause <laughs> before I say anything. <laughs> oh, dear. Yes, that's, and it's always a problem. Uh, you know, that, that's always an issue. Um, we are playing The Division, you can tell, because just below me there's a little Division logo, um, and it's it's all sort of Division-y, and it's probably in the title <laughs> of the video as well, which kind of helps you tell what's actually happening in the They thing. may have just and automatically watched your content and not that's, been paying attention to what it was. That is possible, because I often watch myself. <laughs> I'm not going to continue with that. I think that's, that's dangerous. That's uh, <laughs> so yeah, um, so yeah, uh, uh, still streaming problems uh, abound, um, and uh, it's never going to be as smooth as we'd like. But I'm quite it, happy with the fine. way it last it's fine. It's your first time like yes. recording PS4 footage like this. First few videos, and, it and it's is... a weird setup. Everybody has a problem with this. Everybody, and not very many people have more than one per pe person, persons, peoples on screen. Um, I can't I conjugate people. Um, I knew what you meant. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it is an odd setup, but um, I think it's it's working quite well. Um, and to see how well it's working, let's jump back into the game. The thing is, when I say that and I change the thing, I've actually got to turn my chair around as well because my other <laughs> webcam is over the TV, which is over in a different place. And that's really confusing because I've got to do three things at once and they don't teach you that stuff in acting school. True. It's true. It's, yeah. It's, it's a nightmare. Anyway, so right, over to the game. It's your curse. It's my curse. Yes. We've just picked up a mission. Now, uh, if you haven't seen the mission maps in the Division, they look kind of like this, which is kind of kind of cool. Um, uh, this is this whole sort of whole augmented reality thing. Uh, and the little green dot that you can see there, uh, that I hope you can see it. Yeah, you should be able to see it, uh, is where our mission is going to be. So let's go over, um, start to have a bit of a run over to where the mission is. It's not very far away this time. Yeah. yeah. Off camera, we did a bit of uh, sort of sorting out our inventories so mm -hmm. you guys didn't have to sit through micromanagement we've got a lot of hostiles inside agent they're holding dr Kim. boom we need those personnel back at the base so we can get the medical wing functional here we go so yeah this is Neither. madison square gardens yeah which is like uh i, I think it, they it's a, a, an arena basically um where it's they, they have like sports on and i think they do basketball and all kinds of stuff that's uh, right yeah uh, but they've converted it into like an aid station which is obviously not not kept up um uh, because people have taken it over and then caught ho hostages within the aid station and um the, one of the really fun things about this is that you're running around New York all the time. You're actually running around Manhattan, so it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, my, now, my, my brother actually went to New York on holiday recently, and he was saying about how he got to visit loads of these <laughs> locations, and, and he was wearing a similar kind of backpack and stuff, and he really he, <laughs> he felt a little bit weird. That is really cool. School. That is really, really cool. Oh, they're coming down from upstairs. Not for long. Right, let's see if I can do a... 
There's even more of them. There is even more of them. There's more of them now than there was when I played this last time. They're coming right for us. <laughs> now, the game does kind of um, up its difficulty slightly to... to Scale with level. Well, I mean, it should yeah. do, really. I mean, that, that's always a good thing. Not just, uh, it's... not just with level, but because there are there is more of us. There is yeah. there are more of us. There there are more there is there's more there's more of us that'll work. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's a guy at the top of the elevator thinks yeah. he's Jesus. <laughs> it's fine, I had a shotgun, so I I Oh okay. That, well, we're that... a, we we've secured this place, so that's cool. Um We've now got to pet, patch Faye into the security system. Faye Lau is the other division agent. She was injured on our way into this place. She was the one at the one of the the, the end of the last video. She's the one uh, with the uh, bad eye and the bad leg. Yeah. Okay, patched in. Cool. Um, yeah, I do find with this game, you are kind of it's because you get two weapons and only two weapons mm -hmm. you've kind of got to make sure you've got kind of weapons that play to your strengths so you can sure. get like heavy machine guns light machine guns submachine guns um you get assault rifles shotguns all kinds of stuff and it's it's worth kind of playing around with the different guns until you find something that feels right for your character like sure for, for how how your play style like if now you if you're someone who likes to stand at the back, getting sniper rifles and assault rifles and stuff makes sense. Is if you like getting idea. getting in on the action, then maybe like heavy machine guns and shotguns are more your style. But if you prefer now, like running around, then you might want the versatility of like submachine gun and stuff. Here's something that I don't know before we start. Yeah. Uh, how do you change weapons? Oh, uh, triangle. Cool. Oh. And which one is it? You double tap to get the sidearm? Oh, uh, you double tap triangle again, and it pulls out your sidearm. And then it's right, perfect, excellent. Right. Because I've never had two weapons before. That missed. I missed that completely. <laughs> a little uh, tutorial first time passed you through. by. Yeah. A lot of the tutorial passed me by. I think it was quite late at night, actually. It, it, it's worth, like, exploring in some of these, like, uh, missions and stuff like that in different areas because yeah. there are um, sort of like hidden oh, cool. items, I didn't even see that and stuff like that so uh, like looking around does pay off in this game a little bit because you get like various like better weapons better gear that kind of stuff um, and it's I really will... really clear to me that I was playing the dumb version of this game because I, um, I didn't see half of that stuff I will try and point stuff out to you as we kind of go along, just to cool. kind of see if it helps. Right now, weirdly, in this bit, this particular area, yeah, was actually is actually quite a challenging area. Well, I I haven't got past this bit yet. That's where I am with my other character. Cool. We'll definitely get past it. I'm I, I, I've I've played this area multiple times now. Now comes into the gunfire. It's quite cool, you know, having this like massive duke out in in the Madison Square Gardens basketball court. It is very cool. It is incredibly cool. Ooh. Come on! Oh, there's more people coming in. Yep. Can't even see them. I think it's also worth using your um, grenades, which is pressing left on the D. Yeah, yeah, I've just used a grenade. I've got someone right behind me though, so there you go, got him. Uh, um, yeah, your, your grenades and your um, uh, stuff that you carry around that are like you carry around things like um, what are they called? Like soda cans and yeah, yeah, chocolate bars, that kind of stuff. And you can give it to people surviving in the city, if 
for like uh, gear and stuff like that. Uh, but what you can also do is just eat it yourself, and it'll do things like your energy runs out. Um, it, it sort of it, it replenishes your energy, or it'll make you fire more accurately for a few moments. Because you know, dr downing a can of Red Bull during the middle sure. of a firefight, you know, just sorts out your problems really. That's what you want, really, isn't it? you? You want to have that that kind of stuff. Is that a Is he a lieutenant or something? Is that why he's purple? Well, if you notice, he's got a little, like, rank symbol. Right. Oh, his, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was little grey bars underneath his health, health bar. So, yeah, he had he had more health, and he was a higher ranking enemy than the ones we were facing before that. So it's That's quite, cool. quite cool that they kind of display stuff to you like that. And, and it's a really nice overlay, actually. It's... Um... So it's quite subtle, and it, things like if it you, is. the areas of the city where there are higher level enemies, it'll yeah. show that they are such a high level by um, displaying a, a red skull next to their name. Oh, cool! So there's a "let's not touch those because you're going to die" kind of enemies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so do you do you have have you used a, a health pack, a first aid kit? I haven't yet. I think I've got one somewhere. Okay, uh, well, if you look down here, you can loot um, uh, backpacks that have that little Cardicus logo on it, and okay. they will always have health kits in them. Nice. Uh, there are other backpacks around as well, and they'll typically have things like canned food, soda cans. Very that, nice. That kind of stuff in them. And then there'll be boxes that have sort of guns and armor and that kind of nature which hopefully is really cool there should be one I think down here yeah here we go <laughs> so you can open up that box okay no that's not the right there we go that's the right thing oh cool so if you press square uh, so press take square and loot all that's probably the Easiest, isn't it? So yeah, so I mean that, that that's kind of worth, why it's worth looking around because you'll find um, bits like that to upgrade your character. And uh, hopefully the sound will be a bit better for you this week. Um, I, 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 from my point of view, I think it's sounding better, but but <laughs> uh, do let me know because it, it's not something I can adjust easily. Oh, so have we got to go up here? Have we yeah, got to... use the elevator. And we'll, Using we'll... the elevator. Oh, cool. It's like we're in a proper city and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so most of the main missions kind of play out like this. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll be like objectives to do within uh, a building or a sequence of buildings and stuff like that. And it'll be sort of, you go from area to area. There, there are sort of zones where you have to battle within them. But they're quite open. You can kind of backtrack and mess around sure. quite a lot. Now I remember you seeing you playing this one. It was in beta, yeah. And this was the bit you were in. Yeah, this 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 is uh, this is another kind of set battle. So this is where we're finding like, th this is where the hostages are going to be. Sure. And we can try and try and like take them by surprise if we want, or we can just roll in guns blazing and kind of, depends on your play style of how you you. you you sort of take it upon yourself to, to get get into the action. Although kind of the point of these is, isn't it, that you, you kind of you take your time deciding what you're going to do. So, for example, I've got a, I've got a grenade out now, uh, and if I throw that like this to start everything off, I can then turn and deal with that guy. And I coordinated my, my grenade throw to be roughly at the same time as yours. Nice. And it meant that that we could kind of catch them in a, in a decent amount of fire. And it's, and it's we, nice. We did. That was good. It does allow you to set up things like crossfires and um, sort of genuine tactics that kind of play out pretty well. Ah. The AI can be a little bit funny sometimes, but generally it's pretty cool. It's kind of crazy sometimes, but... Um... But you get oh, some you kind go. of like cocky low level enemies who will just try and like stand out in the open and take you out and then 
You get some of them that will use genuine like squad tactics. They'll try and circle around behind you. Which is it's uh, nice. I mean, it's really because it's that diverse. Um, it's nice to have something that's you're never quite sure what's going to happen with the with the AI. Yeah. Um, so here's Doctor Candle. So we can look after her. The checkpoint now. So. I'm going to jump over to those boxes over there. We've got more enemies incoming. You've got to watch out for some of them. Oh, crap. Die, yeah. die, 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 die. Yeah, those, those melee enemies are the ones that you got to really watch out for. I like, hate those ones. I really do. Because they just those run the in. That... Yeah. And make your day really, really bad. <laughs> Sorry, I just heard someone say, please, not my eyes! <laughs> oh, I got hit by someone. Perfect! And this isn't too difficult. I, I mean, I, <laughs> I say that, it's not too difficult. But what I mean is, it's not too... Um, uh, you know, you're controlling it with a with a joystick essentially, with two joysticks and a, yeah. uh, and some buttons. It's not as uh, intuitive as it would be on a PC where you'd have a mouse, and and that's much easier to kind of look around. Yeah, uh, ma ma mouse look is something that is. I mean, for things like Twitch gaming, for for for, for first person shooters. Yeah. Really, and if you're playing any kind of online. You want a mouse for for any kind of decent accuracy. You just do get more out of using a mouse for for that kind of and and for third person shooters, it's the same kind of thing. Um, yeah. But when you're playing for the story, when you're just sort of exploring a world, I, I think controllers can be really good fun. Like uh, I've played the Tomb Raider games on my PC, but I use yeah. a, I use a controller. Well, I mean, I'm playing. Um, um, uh... This way. What's it called? Go down, um, go down this way. I can't see a damn thing. Uh, okay. It's not what I wanted to do. That's see, what, see what I mean about it? Kind of off the broken. We're, we're off the beaten path a little bit, and we've passed yeah. it up. Yeah. And now, if we do the other side of this platform, rather than carrying on the way they want us to so it rewards you for um messing around a little bit which is it's always good in a game because it means that you kind of explore a bit more and the more you explore it becomes a bit more um um new and interesting yeah, and, yeah well it's know. also it, it it heightens that kind of rpg element of it to me you know it's it sure sure yeah, you you look around for the secret doors. You look around for the the treasure, the chest that you haven't opened yet. You know. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so now we can go left. I figure we we we're, we're, we're this far in. I think we could finish this uh, mission before we stop this video. I think we probably could. We're seventeen minutes in at the moment so uh, we're we're trying to keep these videos to about 20 minutes long um i don't like it when it comes up this is a no respawn zone yeah, yeah. okay so this is where i die in most of the missions there is like essentially a boss level which is where we're at now so there's there's a a, a box here where you can re, re replenish all your ammo which i kind of need to do so uh, and then, yeah, in a lot of the main missions, there's yeah, essentially yeah. a much more powerful enemy at the end. Yeah. And they'll usually have loads of normal enemies around them as well, and there'll be some kind of thing going on. Mm -hmm. um, so with this one, essentially, because there's uh, some people with heavy weapons on the roof shooting at the helicopters, they can't extract the hostages. Sure. So they've said that we need to clear the roof and secure the roof before they can get Dr. Kendall out. And that's what we're doing now. And I'm guessing that it's going to start when we hit that little checkpoint up there. 
much. Okay, so let's hide. And cause trouble. So is that the pulse out at thing that you That's the pulse I've just activated, yeah. Cool. Um and a pulse is like a Oh come on, don't reload now. Thank you. No worries. <laughs> right, I'm gonna see if I can get over there. So yeah, the pulse um identifies your enemies, lets you know where they are and what they're doing, essentially. Uh, but it also does things like it buffs the people in your party. Yeah, you can set it to do a lot of different things. I I read that. Oh, yeah. there's a sniper up by the thingy. That's a what an ass. That's that's our um, that's our bad guy. Yeah. Uh, Hutch. Uh, because he's got a name, you know he's a lot stronger than the others. And it's like again, and he very, is very much like you would have in RPGs. If he's important enough to have a name, you know that it's going to cause trouble, you know? Crap, he's getting me every single time. Yeah, he's he's got a heavy weapon. I, You'll notice I can't that. move. Um, I'm going to try and... Well, you'll Run notice that, that he'll, he'll sort of charge up an ability. And yeah. that ability will mean that he can fire his heavy weapon. And it'll... it'll essentially hold down an area for a while see see that now yeah oh and yeah if you get caught by caught in that in that fire i mean it, it's a heavy machine gun it's gonna hurt so you kind of got that's why the cover the cover mechanics so important to this game and it does work really well and something's hit me but i can't see where he is I'm trying to see. Oh, there he is! There he is! There he is! Uh, take cover! <laughs> now, what you can also All right, he's do firing at me. is when you're taking cover, you can just press the fire button and fire from yes. cover. Yes, yes, but it does, it's not as accurate. So, if I no. just press the fire button, this is what happens. Uh, it's not accurate at all. But this is working well because whenever he's firing at you, I'm firing at him, and whenever he's firing at me, you can then fire at him. And then we can do things like, oh, give me a shot, give me a shot. That. that. Nice. Ooh. Oh, that's taking a lot of health off him. Now, if you mm. keep activating your pulse as well, because I think it helps. There yeah, I get more critical hit chance and more critical hit damage. Nice. So actually, when you hit that pulse, I do more damage. Oh, that's really cool. Because we're only um. So again, just there's like... only one threat here. So you know. Yeah. Again, just like an RPG, you're 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 essentially buffing the party. Mission complete! Yay! That's very cool. Sweet, now you can go right, and we can pick go and loot some of this stuff. stuff. Um, how do you actually? Oh, it just you just run over it to loot. Uh, you you need to hold down square to pick up items, if it's ammunition and stuff. Then you just yeah. run over it and it works. Cool. So we could stand on this helipad and, and finish up for today if you want. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a really good idea. Here we are. From again, We started at the beginning of last week on a helipad and we're ending uh, this week on a helipad oh, as well. So let's uh, just jump back over to uh, like the way I did that transition there, which uh, obviously Joe can't see. But, you know, all of you guys out there in video land, um, I think I did rather well. So 
so there. Uh, but anyway, that's the Stephen and Joe Gaming Show for this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next week for more Division. Say goodbye, Joe. See you. Bye, everybody.